North Pole is a amusement park for families with younger children. That's been the theme of the park since it was built in 1956. It hadn't changed in 62 years. Got a feeling that Christmas Day is near And the spirit of Santa Claus is here Arturo Monaco was a, a, a former Disney artist that created uh, the village here at Santa's workshop uh, due to the imagination of an eight-year-old girl and, and his creativity was how the original village at Santa's workshop was designed. An old folk singing and rhyme, Merry Christmas. For the most part, the village is the original village that was built in 1956. One of the things that makes the North Pole so special at this point is probably the age of it. The grandparents are going back experiencing their childhood and sharing that with their grandchildren and that is a special occasion. They take a comfort in things being the way they remember it in the park. So they don't mind you adding something new but they are very particular if you take something away. We've had the Ferris wheel since 1967. At 7,500 feet, it is the highest Ferris wheel in the world until somebody proves me different. And uh, we're very proud of it. It's, it's, you know, a signature part of Santa's workshop. We recognize we have a responsibility that's unique uh, in that we change as we go, uh, but not at the cost of the past. And so it is a balancing act to keep uh, the things that are important for everybody, but then to continue to, to express and create uh, new things uh, for the next generation. One of the unique things about the North Pole is we have our own post office. The post office delivers lots of mail that, that won't even have a stamp, won't have anything on there, it just says Santa. And the post office will deliver it to, to us here at Santa's Workshop, North Pole, Colorado. You have the fun things, the little funny things with the letters, but you can also receive some very serious things. People will write anything to Santa. They will reveal their problems, adults, write to Santa and ask for help. You can't imagine what his personality means. When a child has problems and they'll ask Santa for help in their family, they know what's important and, and they will ask Santa to help them. Children are smarter than adults in many ways. You know, we've been through several wars where the children were writing, mother or daddy's been deployed, asking Santa for help. And many of them asking, not for toys, for peace. It reminds you of what Christmas is really all about. <laughs>